town uh, in Sarawak. They are actually a highland region so uh, a lot of the farmers there plant uh, paddy. So we spent a lot of our time there and we got fed with rice like almost five times a day. <laughs> a lot of rice uh, and you know the idea came about when we found out that they have a lot of excess in rice uh, but they have no market to sell it and they ended up uh, feeding their livestock with rice, with very good quality rice. So for us to actually take out the, the, um, the rice, uh, it's a four by four, four hours journey through a uh, logging road to get out from the village uh, and to ship them from Lawas to Kuching, from Kuching to uh, Port Klang, uh, and plus all the uh, other courses that involve um, logistics wise. Uh, it's, it became that kind of retail price and we also make sure that 30 to 40 percent of our uh, retail price actually benefits the farmers first um, and that's why our retail price became uh, one of the most expensive price in Malaysia at the moment. Here the farmer did receive subsidies from the, uh, from the government, mm. but the subsidy come in the form of um, fertilizer or pesticide that which not really needed by the, our communities. Mm. So it's like they come in a package. Mm. So what they really need for this community, particularly, they need fencing for their paddy fields because mm. they're still having buffaloes. Oh, okay. So they will release their buffalo into their paddy field after harvest. Mm. Yeah, let the buffalo do their job. That's why their land is so fertile. 